The Krishna Janmasthan Temple Complex is a group of Hindu temples in Malapura, Mathura, Uttar Pradesh, India. These temples are built around the place where major Hindu deity Krishna is said to have been born. The place holds religious significance since the 6th century BC. The temples were destroyed multiple times throughout history, latest by Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb in 1670 who erected Idga there. In 20th century, the new temple complex was built with financial help from industrialists containing the Kashavdeva temple, the Garbha Griha temple at the birthplace and the Bhagavata Bhavan. History According to Hindu traditions, Krishna was born to Devaki and Vasudeva in a prison cell where they were confined by his maternal uncle Kansa, a king of Mathura, due to prophecy of his death by the child of Devaki. According to tradition, a temple dedicated to Krishna was built the birthplace by his great-grandson Vajranav. The present site known as Krishna Janmasthan lit, birthplace of Krishna was known as Katra lit, marketplace Kashavdeva. The archaeological excavations of the site had revealed pottery and terracotta from 6th century BC. It also produced some Jain sculptures as well as a large Buddhist complex including Yasha Vihara, a monastery, belonging to Gupta period c. 400. Cunningham opined that Hindus may have occupied the former Buddhist site. The Vaishnava temple may have erected on the place as early as the 1st century. Some late 8th century inscriptions mentions donations to the Sai by the Rashtrakutas. In 1017 or 1018, Mahmud of Ghazni attacked and plundered Mahaban. Ghazni's scribe, though not accompanying him on the expedition, Al Utbi describes in his Tariq i Yamini neighboring holy town, which is identified as Mathura. He wrote, In the center of the city there was a huge and magnificent temple, which the people believed wasn't built by men but by the angels. Any description of the temple, either in words or in pictures, would fall short and fail to convey its beauty." Mahmud of Ghazni wrote, "...if any one wished to construct a building equal to it, he would not be able to do so without spending a hundred million dinars, and the work would occupy two hundred years, even though the most able and experienced workmen were employed." He ordered to burn all the temples and demolish them. He plundered gold and silver idols and carried away a load of hundred camels. A stone inscription in Sanskrit found from the site mentions that in Vikrama Samvat 1207 1150, a person named Jaja who may have been a vassal of Gahadavala king built a Vishnu temple which was brilliantly white and touching the clouds. Vaishnava saints Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Vallabhacharya visited Mathura in early 16th century. Abdullah, in the reign of Mughal Emperor Jahangir, mentions in Tariq i Daudi the destruction of Mathura and its temples by Delhi Sultan Sikandar Lodi in 16th century. Lodi had prohibited Hindus from bathing in the river and shaving of heads on the banks as well. In the reign of Jahangir, in 1618, Raja Veer Singh Deva Bundela of Orcha had built a temple at the cost of 33 lakhs. A French traveller tavernier visited Mathura in 1650 and had described the octagonal temple built in red sandstone. Italian traveller Nicolao Minucci who worked in Mughal court has also described the temple. Mughal prince Dara Shiko had patronized the temple and donated a railing to the temple. The railing was removed Mathura governor Abdan Nabi Khan on the order of Mughal emperor Aurangzeb and he built Jama Mosque on the ruins of the Hindu temples. During the Jat rebellion in Mathura, Abdul Nabi Khan was killed in 1669. Aurangzeb attacked Mathura and destroyed that Kashavdeva temple in 1670 and built Shahi Idga in its place. Topic. Since 19th century 
Mathura fell under British control in 1803. The East India Company auctioned the land of Katra and it was purchased by Raja Patnamal, a wealthy banker of Banaras. Raja Patnamal wanted to build the temple but could not do so. His descendants inherited the land of Katra. His descendant Raj Krishna Das was challenged, for the ownership of 13.37 acres of land on which the shrine and the Idga is situated, in two civil suits by the Muslims of Mathura but the Allahabad High Court ruled in favour of Raj Krishna Das in both suits in 1935. Kailashnath Katju and Madanmohan Chaturvedi had helped in lawsuits. Politician and educationist Maidan Mohan Malviya acquired the land from Raj Krishna Das on 7 February 1944 at the cost of 13,000 rupees with financial help of industrialist Jugal Kishore Birla. Following death of Malviya, Jugal Kishore Birla formed a trust named Sri Krishna Janmabhumi Trust, later registered as the Sri Krishna Janmasthan Siva Sansthan, on 21 February 1951 and acquired the land. Jugal Kishore Birla entrusted the construction of the new temple with another industrialist and philanthropist Jadeo Dalmia. The construction of the temple complex was started in October 1953 with leveling of lands and completed in February 1982. His eldest son Vishnu Hari Dalmia succeeded him and served on the trust until his death. His grandson Anurag Dalmia is joint managing trustee on the trust. The construction was funded by other business families including Ramnath Goenka. In 1968, the Trust and the Shahi Idga Committee reached an agreement which granted the temple land to the Trust and the management of the Idga to the Idga Committee as well no legal claim of the Trust on the Idga. Following the demolition of the Babri Mosque in 1992, Manohar Lal Sharma, a resident of Rindavan, has filed a petition in the Mathura District Court challenging the 1968 agreement as well as a petition to quash the Places of Religious Worship Act of 1991 which preserves the status quo as on 15 August 1947 for all places of worship. Ganesh Vasudev Mavalankar was the first chairman of the Trust. He was succeeded by M. A. Ayengar, followed by Akandananda Saraswati and Ramdev Maharaj. Enridiagopaldas is the present chairman. <laughs> Temples and monuments The temple complex contains Kashavdeva Temple, Garbha Griha Shrine and Bhagavata Bhavan. Kashavdeva Temple The Kashavdeva Temple was built by Ramkrishna Dalmia in memory of his mother Jadiyadevi Dalmia. The construction of the temple started on 29 June 1957 and inaugurated on 6 September 1958 by Hanuman Prasad Potter. It is located south of the Shahi Idga. Topic: Garba Griha Shrine. It is said that Shahi Idga was constructed on the Sabamandapa assembly hall of the original temple, and the Garba Griha sanctum sanctorum was left. It is considered as the place of the prison cell where Krishna is believed to have born. A marble pavilion and an underground prison cell were built on the place with spacious veranda. There is shrine near it dedicated to eight-handed goddess Yagmaya. It is located against the rear wall of the Shahi Idga. Topic: <inaudible> Bhagavata Bhavan. The construction of the temple dedicated to Srimad Bhagavata was started on the 11th of February 1965 and the installation ceremony of the deities were held on the 12th of February 1982. 
It includes five shrines, the main shrine having six feet tall couple of Radha and Krishna, the shrine of Balaram, Subhadra and Jagannatha on right, the temple of Rama, Lakshamana and Sita on left, Garudastamba and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in front of Jagannatha shrine and Hanuman in front of Ram shrine, the temple of Durga and the temple with Shivalinga. The ceiling, walls and pillars of the assembly hall are adorned with frescoes depicting life events of Krishna and his associates and devotees. The text of Bhagavad Gita engraved on copper plates adorn the walls of the parikrama circumambulation of the main temple. There are statues of Malviya and Birla here. Other constructions include the Ayurveda Bhavan, international guest house, shops, library and open space for performances. Patra Kund There is a large and deep stepped water tank, Patra Kund or Pavitra Kund, in southeast of the Janmasthan temple, which is said to be used for the first bath of child Krishna after his birth. The steps of the tank were built by Mahaji Sindhya in 1782. They were restored by his descendants in 1850. Culture The temple is one of the most visited temple of India. Janmashtami, Diwali and Holi are the major festivals celebrated at the temple. 